three dudes, one mic, t- talking that shit. Today I got time, good. Something great podcast with your hosts, Danny, Jali, and AJ. Welcome back, everybody. New and week. We're back. New episode. Episode seven. 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 Lucky number seven. Yes. As usual, I'm Danny, um, your favorite host out of the three. I can't oh. help but always do that every time we start. Oh, shit. I am Jari. <laughs> AJ. Name's cool, I know. The food god, a.k.a. the most hated of the bunch. Or hate this motherfucker. They hate me. Let them hate me. Hate, hate the they hate me because they ain't. <laughs> the most hated motherfucker up in here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're starting off. Uh, let's, st- let's start right off into the Grammys, which just happened, right? Yes, it did. Yeah. yeah. No? What was did that you yesterday? Guys, you guys seen Gold Dust? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, that was the one thing that stood out out of the Grammys more than anything. CeeLo Green came dressed up as... The golden trophy of the Grammys or something. I don't even was, know. Was, was he no, actually Grammy dressed up as the Grammy? Not. He, Grammys is was the, he dressed the up record as? player. Well, okay, what That's was he? No. Was no he, did he, he come, was like, he looked like did he go to the figure. Grammys dressed as an Oscar? Maybe that's what it was. It was like Maybe Magneto. Was Oscar. I don't know. Gold Nito. It was something. It was weird. This shit was crazy. He was the Golden Lord. He was. But that's that's, that's the, he was the that's gold child growing up. That he came gold to win no gold, right? Well, he, had, he ain't done in so long. Was he even nominated for anything? Uh, I mean, he got writing credit. I know he writes a lot. He I'm does. Sure, I'm sure he 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 enjoyed himself. <laughs> if anything, I don't know if he was nominated at all. Well, who who were some of the other winners? I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. I got to see. Some of the performances, but... Adele seemed to be the big winner of the night, uh, winning everything from Record of the Year, Album of the Year. Yeah, I did see how she tried uh, to... uh, Song of the Year. She gave uh, Beyonce, like, half of her... Best pop solo. uh, Record of the Year. She felt that Beyonce should have had it. Album of the Year, yeah. Yeah. Album, yeah, Album of the Year. She felt Beyonce should have had it. (laughs) Just album. The other ones, not so much. (laughs) Like, but yes... Yeah. As a whole. Singularly, if that's a word, Adele's like, hell no, my song's chart topping. Album? Sure. She's like, my whole body of work is not nearly as close as Beyonce's. The whole body wasn't as good as Beyonce's. This last Adele album was not as good as her last one. I have not listened to either. I remember. You were going to say that. (laughs) What? I didn't say anything. (laughs) No, he was like, this body. This what? last Adele album, <laughs> like a lot of people, a lot of people that like Adele, Job. know that this one, did that. yeah. Did you, you be listening to the whole album? No. Oh, not okay. this last one. I mean, I skimmed through it, and then I was like, this is not as good. 25 is Because she's album. happy now. You know, once, some, once an artist gets happy. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, you know yeah. shit changes. You know, when Mary J got happy, her, song, her music was just so hard. That's why you can't listen to Ice Cube album no more. It's just not going to be even you know, close to that old Now, every day cube. is a good day for Ice Cube. Yes, right. yeah. It, it was a good but he day. he still looked mad all the time. He has to. It's part of his persona. Yeah. Man, so... But the performance... What, the, what did Beyonce win, though? She won... Dopest performance, doing the balancing acts in the chair. One best urban contemporary album. Oh my god! Best made up, b- yeah. Made up. <laughs> nah. We'll just make extra. Yeah, ones. let's. We oh, well, to we gotta give her something. Yeah. Urban. How about urban contemporary? That's got a good <laughs> ring to it. What's urban? Boy. What the fuck's urban contemporary? She got best music video for Formation. That's cool. That was a good video. But it's like Grammys. It's not music video awards. Why is there a music video You're award right. for That's the a Grammys? Good point. Well, I guess it's attached because it's still attached. Well, you have yeah, you have the concept that brings the song together. The visual yeah. for the for the music. You have to bring it alive. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I agree. So she brought it alive, is what they're I agree. saying. Like that's She's the best. Definitely alive. got it for that one. Oh, Chance the Rapper cleaned up too, huh? Best new artist. Yeah, that new dude's new like one. straight independent, so hats off. No, to that. I don't know what else he's, he's not. Wearing. He's on no. a major now? No, he's like 50, 60% independent. He's not full. Okay, 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 but he's still somewhat independent. Yeah. He yeah. might just have a. Uh, but he did, I think he did give his music out for free. Like a publishing deal just, or some shit. I don't best know, it's new dope. Best artist, best rap performance. 
I don't get that best rap performance. I gotta say his that song that's out on the radio. I kind of hate. Which one? No problem. Remember the uh, one I, I like about? that one. That's that the one that got best rap catchy. performance. Oh, that one's very catchy. He also won best rap album. That's got young. Or who's on that one? It's like Young Thug or like Young Thug and Lil Wayne. Yeah, not. A, it's not a bad song. It's cool. It's not a good song. Chance the mm-hmm. Rapper album beat out Kanye West. Mm-hmm. I believe it. I believe it. Look at Kanye right now, and look at all it, 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 it's because Kanye just played them. <laughs> that too, <laughs> but also beat out Drake. I guess because Drake wasn't even there. I mean, it was. I th- I, Did Drake even show up? To the no, they didn't go. Yeah. Kanye Why? didn't go. Drake didn't go. Frank Ocean didn't go. Drake was on I tour. Get it? Okay, well that makes sense for Drake. But see, that's what happens. That's what I always say. Is like these artists, you have to play the game with the Grammys. Like if you work with the Grammys and do whatever they want you to do, mm-hmm. then you can uh, do both. You'll you get the both. Grammy. Yeah, exactly. Because like Adele performed that one song, even though she apparently had to start over in the middle of starting the the performance. She's yeah. dope yeah. though that she did that. Did she like? <laughs> she still she got like, the standing yeah. ovation. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna start over. Make sure this is right. If that was Beyonce, though, it would have been trash. Yeah, yeah. Beyonce could exactly. do whatever she. It would have trashed her if it was Beyonce. It, it would have been. It they, yeah, it would probably it would have came for her for sure. There's a lot of Beyonce hate <laughs> out there. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So if you play the game, like, she's performing these tribute songs and doing all of that and performing on stage. And then, yeah, opening the show, not closing the show or nothing like that. Opening the show. Well, you play the game. I'm gonna give you the best album. I'm yeah, give you the shit. best song. Give you the best, yeah, I'm gonna give you. Okay, you're gonna get the highlights all. today. That's you know, that's like that last award show with Drake won mostly everything. No mm. wonder she was trying to give some to Beyonce. She was like, "Fuck." Yeah, she was like, "Damn, <laughs> I'm gonna give this bitch one of them." Like, yeah, I ain't trying to fucking catch this. <laughs> they ain't gonna have every everybody on Black Twitter coming for me. <laughs> now with the uh, so what else did you like about it? Sorry to cut you off. No, the Grammys. Mm-hmm. Did you get? You, you didn't watch. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, I, I didn't even clips. watch the Grammys. I saw like, like some highlights. I kind of gave up on the award shows a few years back. Yeah, I think we all did, but this one was pretty good. Yeah, performance wise, I heard the Beyonce performance was. I heard great. it was off the hook. I just seen clips of it. It looked cool. But I heard that from Beehive. Behind, um, yeah, yeah, they're, oh, yeah. they're everywhere. <laughs> so, they are everywhere. So I don't know everywhere. if it was really great because I didn't watch it, but I the Beehive, of course, and, uh, said it was it was awesome. And Bruno amazing. Mars killed that shit. Oh, doing uh, the Prince tribute. But you're like, part, what's own. Bruno Mars Beehive? Because you're part of them. Yeah, yeah the, the Beehive, the, the aliens, the, the it's Mars the Beehive. <laughs> the Bruja? The Bruja. <laughs> no, the Brew Dudes. <laughs> the Brew Dudes, right? There you go, huh? The Brew Dudes? I don't know, but that dude can perform. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you know oh, when pause. he first came out? I really thought his name yeah, was... Yeah, Paul. I, I wasn't name, even thinking of it that way. Hey! Man. When he first came out, I thought his name was Brune Omars. <laughs> Brune? Brune Omars. Yeah. Oh, Omars. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, man. No, I didn't. I didn't see it. So I'm assuming you watched the Bruno Mars performance. Yeah, he did a like a spot on Prince tribute, which was pretty damn amazing. What song did he do? Uh, Let's go crazy. Ah, oh, let's go crazy is a good one. Let's go crazy. They got, they got all dressed man. up in like Prince. I seen that. And stuff. Yeah, the butt cheeks out. No, they, they ain't doing that. No, no. He should turn around with if the butt cheeks out. If it was MTV, he would have done it. Damn. Oh, a la uh, Howard Stern when yeah. he did, uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then the Morris Day and the Time came out and performed a couple songs, what? which was great. I know nothing about and these people. I feel like that. I missed out. Uh, that's, that's a I'm only music. hip to the urban contemporary music. <laughs> so, But yeah, other than that, it was uh... lackluster. Yeah. All right, well... Oh, that was cool. Oh, and Tribe. Tribe got Yeah, Tribe, going tribe there. performed. How was that? That was great. It took, you know, heavy shots at you know who the, who yeah, shall not be named. Yes. Who? That dude out yeah, of the mix. Uh, tribe, they, they went directly at the, Somebody they weren't feeling. Was it they called him now Agent Orange? Oh, that sounds about right. Oh, Burrito okay. Man? Yeah, <laughs> Cheeto. El I, Senor Cheeto. Yeah. The DTs. Senor Cheeto. But yeah, they went right at him. It was pretty good. Mm. Oh, that's good. You know what I did see on Friday, guys? 
Mm. What? Catch me outside. How about that chick on Dr. Phil? They did the, uh, <laughs> oh, where she went to this, dude, she went to this, like, farm type spot for, like, I want to say she was out there for, like, four months. She was supposed to be there for 60 days. Goes out there for four months. She's taking care of the horse. Her mom's out there. They give her mom, like, this full list of stuff she's got to do when she gets back. She gets back. She tells him her, she, she has horses. Do any of this stuff? She has horses. She had horses when she was at this spot. Oh, okay. Which, yeah, she was like completely different. Oh, like she's a badass there. kid rehab or something. Yeah, that's exactly okay. what it was. But she okay. was like the only one there. Makes sense. But uh, yeah, she got back. She was same old chick. She told uh, Doctor Phil. She said, "Just like Oprah made you, I made you." She saw, look at your ratings. I have the highest rating show of all time. So, yeah, she was fucking going after Dr. Phil. The whole show was pretty stupid. Oh, my God. It was all in all. As long as Faze Hill was like, this bitch is crazy. I was going to give her a second chance, but fuck this little bitch. Yeah, they were talking about, like, how she needed a... It's a child, dude. That's the worst part. Yeah, she's young. Like, she's 13. I just feel bad for her, too. Yo, her mom was her just mom like... Her mom started bugging out? Yeah, she was talking about the... Uh, what was it? That they needed an agent. And she, like, they had all this shit set up where they were talking about it. Like, well, I think if people are going to be making money off of it, she should be the one making money. Yo, that bitch, she's going to make... they probably make a couple bucks. But that's not going to last long. It's going to be forgotten uh, about next month. They'll burn it quick. Yeah, usual. it's going to get burned out. Nobody's going to be about done next month. month. Like it's, she was just in a uh, Kodak Black video, starting a Kodak Black video. And I heard she got paid nothing. She did get paid nothing. Oh. And uh, did you see her uh, on the plane? I saw the snakes the, on the plane. Was it the, the or, snakes report? on a plane? Yeah, I watched the video from a couple angles, and it looked like, from what she said, this chick was stepping on her mom's foot. She was trying to put her mom was trying to put some luggage above this lady. The yeah, lady yeah, yeah. was complaining about it, and I guess the lady stepped on her mom's broken foot or something, so the mom went in to choke the lady, and it looks like the lady just went off and, like, starts choking the mom, and then you see, <laughs> how about that? That's what you get. <laughs> she don't even have lady. a name, right? Yeah. Her name is Danielle something, right? it's, It is Danielle something. Yeah, okay. But we're going to forget it next week. Yeah, well... I yeah. won't because my name is Daniel. Hey, hey! So we can start calling you how about how about D? Exactly. Dude, how we about also got a tag. Who? Oh. We did. On YouTube. Oh, we <laughs> did. Yes, the most hated. By who? A beehive member. Yes. A bee. And she was definitely a member because she's written. Definitely a bee. <laughs> many comments, many places. No disrespect to anybody's children. Just well, you were chat trashing children. Let's keep it <laughs> I real. I was though. talking a little shit. <laughs> she made I'm sense on part of her comment. Yeah, the I'll, rest of I'll it, not record. so much. But <laughs> there's a little bit, a little bit of sense in there, and I get that. I, it's you know, a child. Anybody's kids. I apologize about any rude comments I made about anybody's <laughs> children. All children. Maybe there's people. more. There's other kids. <laughs> Well, come on. Off the record, you know me. I've been talking it shit about trash kids, all, kids all the time, man. All day. I'm sorry your kid's not as cute as mine. I apologize. Trash three kids God earlier today. bless me. But yeah, it's pretty bad. I go to the playgrounds and just talk shit to kids and cry. You or I'm, a little ugly shit. Or I just give them, like, look at them, like, hella weird until they, like, get hella uncomfortable. So you go to the park and look at the kids weird? Yeah. He's a child hate-a-file. Yes, here. I'm a hate file Yes. Thank you. So yeah, you're, you're gonna see a lot less of that on this podcast. It's gonna be oh, all that's good. Movie. I'm sure it'll make that one bee happy. Hey, <laughs> she got to do something. I mean, yeah. Besides, <laughs> besides commenting everywhere, yo. But I do got <laughs> got to bring this comment up. All right, unless you personally know us, people don't know what we look like. And she said, because <laughs> of my comments on Jay Z, she said. He looked good in his younger years. In fact, <laughs> I'd probably fuck him before I'd fuck <laughs> any of you three. <laughs> Yo! Where this shit, where'd that come from? Who's to say I even want to get with you? That's what I was going to say. I was like, hopefully she will. <laughs> Yo, yes. Like, oh. I'm good. Take Jay. <laughs> I'm good. But yeah. <laughs> what it actually comes down to that in an alternate universe is just us... And Jay Z, and all four of us say, fuck no. 
You're like, nah, we're good. You seen your face. <laughs> Jay's like, nah, it's okay what they said about Blue. <laughs> I'll let, I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide. No, no, <laughs> That's nah, fine. It ain't cool. That's it. Here, dab me up real quick. Dab me up. <laughs> Throw up the rock for me. All uh, right, we good. Man. We good. They rock. They didn't know. They were joking. <laughs> they were joking. Did you Did you see uh, the photos at the Jay-Z brunch or whatever that was? I saw some videos. Yeah, with your boy. Yeah, what, what was that whole thing? Yeah. That was a Grammy brunch. Is that what it was? Oh, yeah. like a pre-Grammy party mm-hmm. for urban contemporary music? <laughs> yeah. Well, the Rock Nation brunch, sorry. Oh, that's what they call it? That's what they call it. Maybe it was that's, That was my question mark, though. If it's called the Rock Nation brunch. How much is... Oh, shit, yeah. how much is that to get into? I think you gotta be on Rock Nation. Wow, that's <laughs> expensive, man. I thought the Vegas ones were expensive. But I guess it was just a party. It was just sponsored by Rock Nation because Diddy was there. He's not on Rock Nation. Nah. Diddy. <laughs> Well, you say, sorry, Puff, can't get in. Yeah, no, he's there. Yeah. What bugged me out, though, if you guys Jim remember, Jones was there. That's what I was just going to say. You remember me showing, you showing me up? pictures of Jim Jones where he looked like somebody's homeless <laughs> uncle. Like, two weeks ago, I was showing you guys pictures of this. All it and takes all is, sudden, a ch- is a trim. Yo, <laughs> that motherfucker looked like he was 23. I don't know. I was I like, know. yo. <laughs> there still was a couple angles. Yeah, like, yeah but if he would have used that just for men, that fool would have looked like in his 20s. He still kind of looked like somebody's broke cousin, though. He does. He was like the only one in like a like a uh, no collar leather. I don't know. It was weird. He's he looked like he just ass. like he just graduated and he got that outfit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, let me put this on. Real yeah. <laughs> Shit's tight. I'll it's, speak. It's, speaking it's a little, of, it's a little weird scene. Jim Jones, Jay Z, Fat Joe at the same gathering and nothing's gonna pop it off. That's pretty cool. It has. I mean, they're all old now. People don't Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was coming together. It was they good. Just want money. And also, like, uh, Fat Joe and Jim Jones are on Rock Nation now. So. Exactly. When the so, boss is signing so the checks. The end, <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> Shit. So, in the end, Jay Z won. And oh, still winning. You could say that, but we don't know what they're going to do yet. Jay Z won't come out and say he won, but. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he's, he's notorious for doing that shit. He did that shit with Nas years ago. Yep. When he fucking signed him, which I thought was retarded, but hey. Jay Z got it. the money. The yeah. money talks. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, they put the beef matter. right behind you when the check come out. And exactly. That's... Like, oh, okay, that much? All right. All right. I All guess right, you I are guess my so. boss now. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? What do you want me to do? Shit. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, on some more Jim Jones shit, y'all seen that. Uh, Instagram Live. I was, I got sucked into that shit for like three hours watching Cameron on that yeah, air air everything boy. out. No, I got like three minutes. Yeah, you didn't see That's the T-shirt that, that this. All I know. Stem? I read about it. I read about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. All right, and that was my favorite part: the fact that he said that the beef between him and Jim Jones all stemmed from a T-shirt that he made. But I get why. You try to dumb it down, saying I'm dumb. It was it just down. a t-shirt. It was just a t-shirt but no, not you. I'm saying like no, Cam was talking did. about it. Like he did, but it was just a t-shirt. That I was a fucked up t-shirt. But he that's a man. <laughs> he straight up said from the start he realized that that shit was fucked up and he should have never done that shit. Uh, that shit was hilarious. Yes. Funny as fuck. If you say anything. something like that, if you say John, he's a trick. He's tricking out for whoever, and that like you trying to like I'm trying to be with that girl. You're gonna, but then you, you like not only, if you make one joke. t-shirt, if you make one t-shirt, cool, that's funny, whatever. You make the crew. mad t-shirt for the whole block. The crew <laughs> is wearing that shit. That's funny. Okay, well let's, let's go back. Let's tell the story. That's first. a better joke. That's it all is. That's that's better. better. It's one better. t-shirt, good joke. So who's a this? thousand, <laughs> even better. Yeah, you joke. see it every time you look. <laughs> so this was for Chrissy, right? That's the chick he's dating now. That's his. That's his woman. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Cam said when they first started dating. He thought, like, shit, he's tricking his money off with her. He's buying her bags. He's buying her shoes. All this shit. And he's giving them shit for it. And at this time, he's, like, thinking, like, yo, this is my boy. We were just smashing chicks last week. Now he's tricking his money off on this chick. So he said he constantly give him shit about it. And, like, nothing happened with it. So he made those shirts. And, like, it said, Tricky Ricky, Jim Jones. <laughs> and then on the back, it had a list of... All their homies that are in jail that he's not putting any money on their books. 
Mm, yeah. So like, yo, yeah, that <laughs> shirt, it's fucking hilarious. The back and, of the shirt was the worst part, I think. Yeah, the <laughs> fact that it had all the homies, like, you're not. Because you know Cam, Cam's a solid dude where I feel like he's going to be putting money on people's books. Like, Jim. I don't, I don't think, I don't think none, neither of them are solid, but. No, I can see Cam doing, doing that. I knew Cam was going to come out and say some dumb shit like that because. It was not dumb shit, that's what happened. Yeah, it's what happened. <laughs> I mean, in the sense that he just he, he all he did was say what happened. I allegedly that's how I took it. Nah, two sides to this story. Sure, I guess you could say allegedly because we haven't seen. I mean, them. it's, it's a It's yeah, good we to watch. The receipts. It's entertaining to watch. Cool, yeah. But I took that. As Cam is the same nigga that said that uh, if he lived next door to a serial killer, he wouldn't call the cops on the serial killer. He'd just move. <laughs> yeah. Come snitch. Cause he, he ain't want, Cause he ain't no snitch. Well, shit. What would you do? You gonna fucking call the cops <laughs> on a serial killer? Yeah, yeah man. Hell yeah, I might He's be just next. A killer. Fuck that. I'm good. He ain't touching me. I mean, it's true. You might, might be a little scared. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> might be like, you know what? Let me get out of here. So you're killing everybody. I'll just move. I'm, I'm I ain't starting problems with this guy. But man, yeah, that shit had me wrapped in it. You could not shut it off. Like I'd shut it off, then I'd be like, "All right, I gotta go." I don't know how you did that. I felt like I was gonna miss something. Like just ju- 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 like you to Jay Z, apparently. Cause yeah, that's exactly ja what it's camera. Camera. like. Actually, no, I liked when Cameron linked up with Fifty Cent. I think that was cool. <laughs> I like Cameron more than Jim Jones until now. What? Wow, that's surprising. Why? Why is that going back and forth? Like, I, I, oh, well, why? On. How did Jim Jones pass him though? Huh? Yeah, I always kind of. <laughs> okay, how did Jim, Jim Jones, Jones pass cool him? Up until this point, this like maybe, because if your man is feeling some way, you should be able to be like, yo, let's talk. Well, that's what he said. That that's is, what Cam said. But like, I'm not involved, why are you going so on the radio? Read. That's what exactly what Cam that said. Part was why are you going on the radio, too. doing all this shit, saying all this that shit when you could have just called me? They're both whack because of that. You could have called me right just, off the bat. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. Cam was doing this shit on Instagram Live. He didn't go on fucking Funk Master Flex. He didn't go on the morning shows. Yeah, He's he, doing he didn't it do like, that after he got signed to Rock Nation. Like, he, yeah, he's going on there giving that free promo, trying to amp up his marketing. That's exactly, and he hit it on the nose. That's exactly what it was. He got signed to Rock Nation. He's trying to get his following gotta get that uh, viral videos going and you know people talking agree. about them like that's that's the only way you can talk about them is if you talk about the shit that happened with dipset pretty much it's the most relevant thing to his whole career who's jim jones yeah dipset but yeah it was funny he definitely went in on that shit and definitely was like bringing up every comment that jim jones said i mean i do believe that Jim Jones' girl probably had something to do with the fallout. Everything. Well, that definitely had she to be. Usually, crazy. yeah. Usually, mm-hmm. when you have uh, friends, and then one of their friends get a girl who's who's like the way she seem on the show, seem like an asshole sometimes. Yeah. And like, oh, okay, so she does. That seem... might create a wedge where it's like you and can't he even. Do, he does you know? look stressed out because he's low on money. Oh yeah, it's he's probably because of her. That. Like straight up said that because she don't got a man. He don't got a manager. He didn't have a manager Low before money anymore. Because of her, he spent the money though. Yeah, yeah. He's still but now he got nothing coming in. Island. But he but I'm saying it's his fault. He make a decision to put his hand in his pocket every time. He spent it. He all make on a decision not life. to make no music or huh? make any money. He spent all his money on vamp life. <laughs> Getting that shit started. <laughs> Yeah, the Vamp Life Warehouse. But you, I think he, he was getting a... <laughs> Straight Vamp. He probably was getting a he good... Vamp Land. With income and shit when, when he had Yandy or whatever, Fucking getting a managerial... Coffee bar. rides. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean... Everybody's yeah. paying attention, though. Yeah, but... Jewel is back old. out. You know, Jewel is pumping out music. And the is shit, he? Is he? The sh- yeah, I this shit it. sound good. I mean, he's yeah. all up on his Instagram. You know, the problem is with these older rappers, they don't know what they're doing. No. You they don't know what they're doing that. at all. Maybe yeah, Jim Jones, do maybe Jim Jones done a little better by getting with Rock Nation, and maybe it'll have a little bit more actual mechanics behind it. But you see Jewels and 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 him even on being on Love and Hip Hop and fucking with Yandy and and them like it just seemed like it's it just I don't know it make it, it the way they interact make it seem like it's so low budget. Like all together, yeah. and it's just not a good look at all. It's a, it's like cool he's though. doing good and putting out the music because the music sounds good. And I'm seeing a lot of buzz from it, and it's good. But he shouldn't be talking like he do on Love and Hip Hop, acting like he don't know where money coming from. Mm. Like that, that just doesn't look good at all. 
And, like, how you don't know how to make money in this day and age? And, like, he's been out of the game for that long. Like, you don't know how to make money. What were you anymore? doing all this Well, time? that's the thing. You can't, Man. like, it's real hard as a rapper to, like, jump out of the mix for 10 years or. It's not, though. And come but back. Wells, though? And come back. No music. No like... music at all. Right? Come back. Whatever you want to call it. Right? Mm. Weren't, weren't you watching that camera on for three hours? Yeah, but Cameron's a totally You think if you always said tonight I'm doing live, you think people ain't tuning in? You're not gonna have fifty thousand views. You might get, You're 10, get like ten or fifteen thousand. That's nothing. But no, That's it's nothing. not that it's nothing. He no. still has a following, but it's not like. But this is what I'm saying. He's not gonna have a little Uzi Vert following. But how do you build a following? Like you know, if he did some shit where it was live, he said, "I'm gonna be on live, and I'm you can listen to some of the song. We're gonna play some in the studio, blah blah blah, and do some shit, answer some questions and something, and do that shit regularly." Yeah, these artists could do that, but they don't. Why? Because they don't want to. They don't. They don't want to adapt to the new culture of making money. It's yeah. online. Yeah, these motherfuckers want to get signed to someone still. <laughs> you know promoted yeah when promoted and get a budget and get it yeah. and, and like when the dude that won best rap yeah. album yeah. practically is signed yeah. but everybody wants they still get signed it's not it's different you listen it's like a, Kanye said listen generation. to the kids yeah I was gonna say it's, yeah. it's yeah. I mean you gotta listen to what's moving the culture like people don't care about that shit people care about one free music two they care about whatever is out there and, and and you can easily grab them. These people are already known. You can easily get people to listen to you. And they definitely problem. got money already. They can pay for their own, you know, studio time, distribution, and shit like that. Yeah, it's just not. And it's all, all streaming. You don't know. How you don't have to make hard streaming. copies no more. It's all streams. Put it online. Buy CDs. It's so you don't know how to hit upload. You know what I'm saying? Like hit yeah. upload and put you like for home. a dollar on You're your own website. Like it's easy. That shit. Exactly. So like. You don't even need a homie. It's called read instructions. Like, it's not difficult. It's called Google. You type it in how to upload a song. And then, yes. like, it'll I show agree. you how to make music from my song. And then it'll show you. And you being someone who's known already. I think you can be you independent can and put your stuff on Apple Music, right? Yes. I have homies who got shit up on Apple Music. Like... Man, we're on iTunes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody exactly. knows. No, one of the homies asked me the other day. He texted me. He's like, yo, I didn't know you had a podcast. <laughs> what? Are, yo, we're thinking about starting a podcast. What do you got to do? I just told him straight up, yo. Get a mic. Get a computer. Record yourself. Put it on iTunes. Put it on SoundCloud. You see that? You got a uh, podcast. Yeah, like, but you, you see, people always ask, you know, mm-hmm. and you got to lay it out for them instead of, like, go to what they call the Google. Everything oh, that's what I was saying, my buddy. You type in word, my buddy and Google then knows. hit search, and then you find out how, that's and then so you do it. Annoying though, like, uh. it's annoying when they ask you. <laughs> you tell them they still don't listen, then they go to Google. You tell them Google first, then they're like, "Oh, all right." Then they feel offended. Yeah. Then you tell them when they ask you for the fourth or fifth time, they're like, "Ah, you don't know nothing." Yeah. Then they go back to Google. Like you wasted my time and energy. Man. Yeah, if you want to learn literally anything, fucking YouTube and Google YouTube, has yeah. everything. Everything. For the most part, you're going to find a tutorial on there, how to do it. And if that if it's not on YouTube, look on Google. There's going to be some message board where people are into that shit yeah. that's going to go into detail on different ways you could do whatever you're trying to do. For everything. 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 Shit. If you don't find it, you found something, like, you must found a gem. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You're looking for something <laughs> fucking super weird that nobody <laughs> else is looking for. Yeah, and then maybe when you figure out how to do that, actually, then put that online and watch you make money from that. But, you know, that's another story. I've already taught too many people how to make money. I'm tired of it. I'm Word. sick of it. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, man. Hopefully, Cameron, Jim Jones, and Jewels, they can get back together and be a whole here. Because they got that. Uh, they got the Jim Jones, Jewels, and Migos song coming out. Wait, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? I don't know if it dropped, but. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Jim Jones, who? Jim Jewels? Jones, Jewels, and Migos. Okay. So, I mean, that's working could on something. Though, yeah. If it's, you know, depending on how Yeah, Migos is hot right now. So, with them two, they can get some. I mean, Joel's is still uh, he seems friends like with a both dude of them. That so. would be yeah. able to, like, get more back in it quicker than I think Jim would. Like, well, he's younger, Jewel's too. Would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's younger. He's probably has a younger fan base, I'm guessing. I think they got the song out, too. It was Joel's Cameron in French Montana. 
Oh, That's okay. right. I heard about that one too. Yeah. Okay. So maybe, maybe we'll. we'll start yeah, Joel's doing. working, man. I start seeing singles from these dudes. He might be the only, the one that's mostly working instead of talking. Yeah, he's doing a lot of work and a lot of music coming out. That's what I'm saying. Like, you need to see some, I mean, he's doing good. You you don't really need to worry about the money. You need to create that hype first and then get the money. Uh, So far, he's doing pretty good. But hopefully they get it all together so we can see some more dip set, man. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. Because to me, still would like to hear some Cameron, Jim Jones, and Jewels on a song on a whole album. Just them three. I would love it if they got back with the Heat Makers. Because that first Diplomatic Dip Set album. Diplomatic Community. Yes. Yes. That would be amazing. Yeah. Hopefully. Either way, Cameron's still going to be fucking dancing to R. Kelly. And he will. <laughs> doing his damn thing. This dude's always doing this. Making jokes. Doing his and thing. And shit. You know. That nigga needs his own show. Oh, he would, he would do great. He, he had his own show for three hours straight. This is what yeah. I'm saying. Like, Watch these it. artists can do that shit. These people, people are popular. You don't even need to be artists. People who are popular and have a following, you can do that type of stuff and just yeah. create something. But... They choose not to because they don't one, they don't know how. Two, they still stuck in their old ways, or three, they just they're just not good enough. I don't know. Yeah, well the drive's not there. Uh, Speaking of New York, how about the way the I love Knicks... New York. Have you been watching it? What's that? <laughs> the show, old, a new the old reality show. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say they've like... been replaying it. Oh, oh okay. Like marathon shit. style. I've been oh, watching it. Yeah, damn. I did not. Okay. And it's like full circle because that's how the flavor of flavor one. Flavor yeah, flavor love. love. I was watching those. It's hilarious. There is. Wow. Okay, I'm mad at you. It's just hilarious to see the people who were on there and how much they liked Flavor Flav yes. and I love and then New York, whatever her name is. Yeah, I love New York. And then uh and then you see them now and like Oh, they <laughs> like, show them like Oh, they, they don't show like, them now, but like, you know, the one dude married a... uh What's the one singer chick from uh, Dream Girls? What's her name? Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. Punk. punk. The guy yeah. Punk on there. She married the guy Punk. That's right. And he was on it all. He was a wrestler. Like, and what about a uh, wrestler? He was a lawyer. No, he went into WWE. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's, oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah. What about a Riff Raff was from... Uh, that Jeff oh, had G's the Gents. Yes. G's the Gents. Uh, <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Yeah, it was yeah, that shit was fucking good. Uh, MTV, I mean, thank you for making so much awesome bullshit. Like, they paved the way for still the rest it. of the trash that's still here. So. Yep. <laughs> but I know you were you were bringing up uh, your man Oakley. Yeah, the Knicks, man. Oakley getting the boot. Charles Oakley, veteran. You don't do that to an OG, man. What it what happened? All I seen was a little video of it. Like why they came out? Yeah, it seemed like it, what was said was that Charles Oakley was talking shit. I guess to the owner, right, of the Knicks, the Is GM, the, the GM of the Knicks. No, and, the owner, the owner. Phil Jackson's the GM. Okay. Whoever, I didn't even James see. I, I only care about Charles up. Oakley. Yeah. Somebody high up in the Knicks. He was talking shit. We're talking shit about him. Then they put his hands on him. He's like, "Get your hands off me!" He smacks their hands down. Or he put his hand in one of the dude's face, like, don't talk to me like that. And oh, the security him, guard, like, yeah. Finger. And then one of them tried to hold him, and he's like, get your arm off me. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, we got to get this guy out of here. And they straight detain him, pull him out of there, and then, like, he falls or some shit on the way out. Yeah, you don't do that. And they that drag him that. out of there, like, Damn, between, that between that and the way <laughs> they treat him mellow right now. Dragging both of them. Yeah, yeah. And no one's going to want to play thing. there. No one's gonna want to play there. Yeah, I heard a lot of shit talking about that. It's right New York. You know, Why do you do that? Why you guys do that? You gotta, you gotta have tough skin. You know what I'm saying? You you yes, gonna get dragged on the floor? Is all I'm saying. Like your skin <laughs> gonna get scratched. You, you know that, you better you, see that you better have with, some tough skin. With Magic Johnson at a Lakers game? No. No, I haven't. But it would be hilarious if I saw it. You know what? But it would be it. sad. You know what he did say. You know? AIDS? <laughs> yeah, like you don't want to drag him through the floor. <laughs> no, <laughs> throw the floor away. No, di- no disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> no, I got a joke. I got a joke, but I'm not gonna say it. I'll just get some more fucking bad. Comments. I mean, uh, yeah, let's, let's bring that ammo in. <laughs> All right, well, so yeah, you always. If he's in a, if he's in a wheelchair and you drag him, <laughs> then it'd be roll AIDS, right? <laughs> All right.
<laughs> right? I mean, okay. All right. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> recycled joke. Anyway, he got dragged out and now he's like supposedly like banned, right? That's fucked up. Fuck you, Nicks. Is this still your favorite team? Nah, chill. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a New York Knicks fan till I die. Yo, if you could have seen his face right now when I said fuck yeah, you, Nicks, you like, was like, oh. it was like I said fuck his child or something. He really got That's tight. That's what you just said to me. See? Nicks. He was like, nah, that would have been... That Knicks been will cool. always be in my heart, although I don't really watch too much anymore because, obviously, they've been trash, and plus I have other shit to do. Be, you want to get that sad. Yeah, no, nah, it's frustrating. You can't live and be that sad. If you were a Knicks fan, you'd have been through it just by being a Knicks fan, you know? Like, you didn't even have to have a hard life. Like, <laughs> you just grow up like, nah, I grew up shit, tough. I watched all... the Knicks play. What yes. happened? You, your parents, <laughs> you and your parents were together? No, nah, they were together. You were poor? No, I was, I was pretty well off. No, no. <laughs> so what was hard about your life? I was a Knicks fan. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this just... one time I went to the game. <laughs> they were up by 40. <laughs> they fucking lost by 20. <laughs> Ten minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. Oh, man. That's a Knicks fan life for real, man. I fucking felt it being a Raiders fan this season. Jesus <sighs> Christ, we haven't won nothing for years, and then finally we get a promising season and injuries. Gotta over. be quicker than that. <laughs> but yeah, shit. Other than that, fellas, what else? Uh, what else been happening these last seven days? Uh, George Lopez. I did. George Lopez. Lopez. Apparently, a comedian said a joke that was offensive. Whoa, he said some shit. What did he say? He said something new. like, There's two, two things you don't do with a Mexican family. Right? Yeah, or his Mexican or Hispanic household or something like that. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, I forgot what the other rule was. And then the, the second rule was, don't bring home a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not surprising because almost every Hispanic family, like the OGs, a, probably a- said that. The OGs. That's how the old people are. Yeah, yeah. just in general, they watch our grandparents race, and grand, like, you know, uh, fathers or whatever. Racist. Are pretty racist. <laughs> yeah, if you go back a few generations, shit. Yo. Uh, I mean, if you, if, you, if you gotta forgive old white people, I mean, <laughs> I think we can forgive old Spanish people too. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a fucking comedian, anyways. Like, and why then the you be so got, sensitive over comedy? It's the, no old bar. The girl that got cursed out. What came out and defended George Lopez. So wow. people were just yeah, people looking just for a reason. That's yeah. stupid. That's the climate. That's stupid. how you gotta be. Yeah, well, that's the world we're living in today. And if people want to be that sensitive, they can Yeah, man, take like a joke. You know, it's jokes. fucking comedy. It's Everything funny. you could say the most fucked up shit possible yeah, it's with kinda, comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it is what it is. It's, it's, you're supposed to laugh at it. It's basically, I heard it like a couple days ago. If you don't want to get hit by a baseball, don't go to a baseball game. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to feel offended, don't go to a comedy show. Pretty That's much. That's true. That's probably why I don't go to have comedy sensitive? shows. Because, yeah. like, <laughs> you know, I ain't trying to get picked out in the crowd. You know? I was going to say that. They tried talking to you before, and then huh? start having <laughs> jokes. That's the last thing you want. They hit a little oh, too close to home. Hey, oh, hey are you guys together? Not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, like, I hate that. You're going to be like, oh. It's never happened to me, but, like, it, I don't want it to happen to me. Or he's like, oh, you're cute. Like, to your wife, remember me? And then he's like, yeah, she has a she has a mole on her thigh. Yeah. yeah. It's just, like, something that Some just, stupid like. stupid shit. You got to sit there and laugh because, like, you know, like, you're at a comedy show. <laughs> you really like, be like. Yeah. It just makes sense. Like, you really be like, catch me outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they're, you know, they're. Most of the time, anyway, they're professional comedians, so yeah. it is. You're gonna get laughed at in a minute. And the last thing you want to do is interrupt <laughs> someone doing their job. <laughs> I'm never doing that. No. Yeah. Remember, it was one, remember, uh, you continue doing that job you're doing. Someone tried to heckle this comedian. <laughs> and, uh, That's remember, a different uh, job. <laughs> yeah. The senior trip. Huh. There was a comedian on the boat ride, and the guy was like, "Hey, why, why are you trying to interrupt me in my job?" I don't go oh, to your yeah. job and slap the dick out your mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll tell you how to swing on that pole. <laughs> That's fucking true. That's a good one. Yeah, man. What else we got uh, going on that we can talk about during this episode? 
Shit. The day before Valentine's Day. I was going to say, you guys ready for V-Day? I know you decided on uh, no presents this season, which is beautiful. V-Day is every day. I wish I would have. You you got to keep the romance right. Shit. I'm the type (laughs) that doesn't, I, I can't keep a secret. And then my girl last night can't keep a secret either. So she was like, you want me to show you what I got you? <laughs> and I'm like, nah, don't show me. You do. And then I'm like, all right, show me. <laughs> so she got me two tickets to go see Bill Burr, which is one of my favorite comedians. I'll be uh, very happy to go see that. And I already gave her this uh, one of her presents. Showed her one of the other one ones. One of her presents. You balling. She nah, split up that $40. Well, here's or... what you do, dude. You get a $10 <laughs> gift. You get two $20 gifts. That's $50. It looks like you just spent... <laughs> Eighty dollars, <laughs> babe. I hope you're not listening to this episode. This shit was way more expensive. By the time she hears it, you already gave <laughs> no, it to her. It's okay. <laughs> Too it's late. Okay. She better not go on my fucking Amazon and look at how much she oh, cost it. But yes, so yeah, we pretty much already gave each other our presents, and we're gonna be going to eat here in a minute. We're going the day before Valentine's Day to beat the crowd, and because we're both working. But yeah, what about you, Ja? Uh, I did the uh, picnic. Park, the romantic picnic in the park. Mm. Did it early, huh? Did it early on yeah. Saturday, just overlooking to beat the water. that picnic crowd. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you make the food for the picnic, or did you stop I somewhere? I made myself take a drive to get some wings and a burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, wings and a burger and a picnic. Yeah, I was going to say, what kind of fucking yeah, picnic no fruit, is this? No, uh, no. no cheese plate. Yeah, you guys didn't bust uh, open some wine uh, or a wine. Yeah, they got some wine. Sparkling cider. You can't cider. take alcoholic beverages. Sparkling park. cider, dog. Without a permit. Flask. They won't let you. They search you on the way up. No. Flask, dog. You got to keep it a keep it G. Yeah. You get some wine. <laughs> You, you put guys it are just in a criticizing my soda. efforts and being romantic here, but go on. <laughs> well, I'm Please, sorry. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as I heard, <laughs> well, all right. Then. As soon as I heard cheeseburger and hot wings, I was like, all right, the romance hey, is kind of like you know. No, no. See, listen, listen, listen. Me and wow, her, man. we love fucking wings. Okay. Okay. We so love, that's kind of your thing. We love our wings. You your love thing. You love fucking wings. wings. I love fucking wings and love eating wings. <laughs> we're freaky that way. Oh. Right. She's still burning from the buffalo wings, man. <laughs> She's still burning, though. <laughs> Somebody Dude. help me, my pussy's burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can never say my girl's still burning. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> and he said, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear this. <laughs> so I'm all right. Like, oh, no, 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 Nobody listens. I think only AJ's girlfriend listens. Yeah, so after fucking And that one beehive bitch. <laughs> oh, she was in there deep. <laughs> that one bee. Yeah, dude. That one bee. Oh, man. So that's cool then. So you guys love wings. You guys did the wings. Wing picnic. Yeah. So you winged it. <laughs> Pretty much. I see what you did there. That's clever. Now, did you clean your wings up, or did you just leave them in the grass? Were you like eating it and just no, throwing them? Threw them. The, the birds came and just took them off. Yeah, I was just gonna say to the birds, "Fucking go get them." The shits for the birds. Oh hell yeah! Feeding the birds hot wings or shitting on everybody. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Put the X-Rax on the wings and <laughs> yes, let them go to work. The explosion. Yeah, it was cool. It was relaxing. You know. That's never cool. done that before. Never had a picnic? No, actually, no. no. Not like that, no. Yeah, I was going to say, in New York, I mean, you probably don't got a lot of... I had a family picnic. picnic. It's not nice greenery it's... everywhere. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, shit, in fucking Arizona, it's not like there's nice greenery everywhere either. Uh, you got to dig. Uh, uh, compared well, to yeah, New York, I was gonna say, you easily yes. can find a spot. God damn. Yeah. Like, New York is like, you got to find like a good piece of, I don't know, cement steps in front of someone's yeah, house exactly <laughs> somebody's stoop seen that, you gotta hit uh, the stoop and like, yeah, I don't know what was that still called a picnic or they uh, got a name for that's it that's called chilling I don't, yeah. I don't even yo know. you wanna chill and eat lunch <laughs> on the wanna, stoop you wanna panhandle <laughs> you wanna hang out outside that's that's what you do you, hang you wanna out cat call outside. you wanna cat call some chicks yeah uh, hey you wanna go on the train and sell these candies for me for my basketball, <laughs> my basketball team Hey, you want to go on the train and practice our dance routine? Try to earn some money for uniforms. <laughs> you, wanna, you want to go stay out of trouble with me? <laughs> hey, you want to go to door to door and sell some magazine subscriptions? <laughs> I got these uh, A-bonds on I got ESPN A-bonds. 
You're going to door to door selling Avon as a dude? <laughs> Is your wife home? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I got this. <laughs> she going to love this. Our new moisturizer keeps them moist. You just get shot. <laughs> you beat up every your wife home? <laughs> You only got butt project buildings to go to. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, they better. drop you off. It's like one of those jobs. You're like, okay, what are you going to be doing? You're going to go door to door. It's like 50 50. You might lose your life today. So. But if you survive, uh, you got a good commission. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> you, might, you might live to see that commission check. Here's a taser. You might need this. <laughs> Shit, that's cool, though. I mean, how many people you seen do that? Have you guys seen that video of the dude where, where they're like, Man, this guy could sell air and I would buy it. Yeah. And it's the dude selling the cleaner or whatever, and he's just yeah. Man. I would have bought that cleaner. Yeah, that fool is caking. You know that fool's got shit. Money in the bank. I haven't seen it. Oh, he's got to it. They, I, I, I wish I had your skill of uh, turning people away that try to sell your shit. Is he good at that? Oh, so good. So entertaining, man. Remember the... I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Two weeks ago, a lady tried to, from Quill, try to come sell you something. Oh. And I'm just there listening. God. What's Quill? The, like the office supplies? It's company? not promote oh, okay, them. Okay. Like, let's not... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Some stupid-ass old people company. Good. Anyways, tell your story. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like... Uh, <laughs> it was funny. He goes, hey, would you, would you want to buy it and blah, blah, this and that? And he's like, no, actually... I, I don't have time right now, so I'm just going to let you go on your way. And it just, she, kept, she keeps going. Well, how do you know if you haven't seen our product yet? Like, I just, I don't need it right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude. This is two warnings already. I'm not trying to be rude. But, you know, I just have to get back to work, so thank you very much. And like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he's like, well, hold on. You don't, you don't need any, any toilet paper. Like like this dad, times, this dad, and then that. And he's like, oh, I really don't want to be rude right now, but I'm about to kick your head off. <laughs> like she, and then she gets offended. Whoa, whoa, well, okay, well, all right, well, okay. Yeah, like after five times, I'm mean, trying to be polite. <laughs> like, to yo, person. I tried to tell I you, just, you I should just... take it once. If you you should be able to read your cus or your potential customer. Yeah, and go I, from there. Sh- this is an old age people. This is what I'm saying. Old age people going door to door. You know what I mean? This is a new age. Use the internet. One, two, at least. She should have given me a business card or some kind of flyer after I said, please leave me alone for like yeah. the fucking you just gotta second to third time. I'm at not the, very the house least. owner. I'm not the house owner. When do they get back? Yeah, and you no, do it I'm way gonna... later than they're going to be out there. No. Oh, they get back around 7, 30, uh, 8 o'clock. Nah, man, it's 2017, man. I'm not playing the game with these people. You tell them straight up, I'm not interested. They should be able to walk away. That's yeah. it. Should... If that's the first answer you get from a customer, oh, uh, no, it's okay, not interested. Done. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 okay, I, no I respect a hustle. Like, I, res- I respect her for trying. To, like, if that was my employee, sure, good try. Should have done better though. But like, should have sold them. You could give me like one or two. Hold on, but how about? And then after that, you hit me with like a flyer or like a website or yeah. something to check okay, out. Yeah, later. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this with you. Just yeah, keep your mind. Shit, but like harassing me to the point like this in 2017. Yeah. Of afterwards, I'm like. You know, I would have stood standing there like a dick, just listening to see if she got good prices, but then not would have bought anything. <laughs> Wasted her time. Yeah. Like you fucking like you're eating a sample at Sam's Club and you're just sitting there oh, acting like it. Yeah. Like because it tastes good, you know you're not gonna buy it, but being like, oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, where's the set? Yeah, let's oh, waste okay. both of our times real quick. Like, nah. Do you want to buy it? Should have yeah. left the price list as something, man. Anyway. That's it, I think, for today, man. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. But, uh, wrap it up. Wrap it up, too. Wrap it up, B. You know, stay safe out there. It's Valentine's Day. Make sure you wrap it up. Yes. For those, uh, you know, like you just met, so you're going to have a Valentine's, make sure, you <laughs> make sure you're wrapping it up. Yeah, because the pull-out method does not work. Word up. And a nigga need a real gift. Don't be out here just giving out a... Uh, Straight up. Fucking making a card on Photoshop. Regu- I'll be giving regular regular ass vagina for as a gift. Yeah, yeah, we need we need something. Do not shave it into a heart or something. <laughs> no. Need special vagina at the very most. You know what I'm saying? Like two of them. <laughs> you know, like what? <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
mean, okay. dude, dude's just. I was saying, do something that. that I don't normally get. Just shoot you that know, in the dark. What, what are you doing? Take here? a shot in the dark. Can How about bring... you get on top for once? Yeah. Anyway, we're out of here. Episode seven. We'll see you next week. Episode eight, because that's how numbers work. Uh, any last shout outs real quick? Oh shit, I'm not gonna be here. Oh yes I will. I'll be here <laughs> next week. <laughs> no more shout outs. Alright man, shout, shout, shout out to everybody. Shout yeah. out to women. Shout out to the ladies on this yeah, battle. To the Good luck out there. Stay safe out there. Wrap it up. This is the Sunday Great Podcast. See ya! <laughs> Be sure to follow Something Great Podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Facebook. Do it. Do it now.